Hi, I'm Dave Heitz, and we're going to talk about miraculous stories of PTSD trigger management through medical cannabis. I just laid down about 20 minutes ago for the first time in quite a while, and uh, I was about to fall asleep. And ding, dong, dong, dong. So I go to the front door, and there's a cute little girl, and she's not a cute little girl. She was a very intelligent young woman, quite frankly. She says, hi. She says, I'm with Greg Johnson. I'm campaigning for state senate. And, you know, I wasn't the least bit triggered uh, about him being a Democrat. I only had one question. I said, is he the one on the Rock Island County Board? And she said, no, 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 he's not on the county board. And that made me laugh. And, um, <clears throat> and then I asked about the one that is on the board. And was he friends with John Krupp? <coughs> Excuse me, because I'm still trying to figure all that out. But she didn't know either. Anyhow, so we're talking. And, and I, I told her, I said, I'm not going to make this political. I said, even though I'm a political corruption victim, I said, I feel that a cannabis for all. I said, only one half of 1% right now have the cannabis card. That's outrageous. I said, do you realize the money? Oh, um, Greg supports cannabis. I said, cannabis for all. I said, and when it's cannabis for all, all medical patients should be able to grow it in their yards. And that was my proposal that I think she'll pass along. And then I also passed along another tip. And even though I was managing that trigger so amazingly well, I mentioned Augustana. And she said, oh, I go to Augustana. And then the mailman came in. We all shared a wonderful laugh, including the mailman, who's the coolest guy ever. And so I told her all about Paul Olson and his African-American literature class and how interesting it was. And I said he was very theatrical. I said, but a very intelligent, nice, kind-hearted man. I said, and he also was a legendary track coach. And she didn't know those things. That made me feel like a special contributor to the community. It did. And it was a positive exchange with this young woman. And she has no idea and has nothing to do with what happened to me. There's hope for tomorrow in this community. And, and uh, I, I can, you know, you might say, well, yeah, until your weed roll wears off. But over the long haul, things are getting better. Um, a lot of people are still laughing at me or whatever, but I've made a difference. So um, it was nice talking to that girl. And, and medical cannabis makes all of the difference, you know? How freaking hysterical i mean ding i mean it's hysterical it's just hysterical hollywood could not make this stuff up could they ptsd medical cannabis cannabis for all have a good evening or afternoon <laughs>